it's pretty interesting out here my first time traveling after 20 20 21 yeah after arriving in ghana it's pretty interesting this airport looks nice i'm not gonna lie it's pretty I mean, it's safe to say Ghana step up their game a little bit. Please have your attention. Look at that. The following passengers have lately given their lives to Wadi Sababa. guys i want to take you on a journey follow me around you know what i'm saying i want to show you more than the show so i just landed here in gambia i'm looking forward to the experience it's beautiful here everybody's smiling i love it why, why are they calling it smiling coast it's very peaceful. peaceful very country. peaceful. Very, very, very. They came for me, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> welcome to Gambia. <laughs> man, I'm excited. Guys, it's still 7 p.m. My time says 7.21 p.m. and I'm in Gambia and it's still not dark. In Ghana, at 7 p.m. it's dark, right at 6. So... Oh, someone is behind you. <laughs> what, what, thank you. One, one culture shock that I have is the weather. It's still day, even though it's 7 p.m. It's interesting. I'm excited. This airports are their main airports in Banjo. So everybody who is coming to Gambia through Banjo, you have to come through here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, not bad. It's nice. It's nice. Ghanaian men are the most stingy. <laughs> the most, okay? Even here in the Gambia, they give a small, small. Ghanaian men, I'll be sitting for hours. They eat for three cities. Um, but I love y'all Ghanaian. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> this is going to be posted a little bit later. But yeah, I'm in the Gambia and um, man, the food here is amazing. I'm at Tamala and uh, Charlie. It looks beautiful, man. There's the best food I've ever had in years. 
So Tamala is beautiful. It's a resort. Anytime you're coming to the Gambia, come check it out, man. It's beautiful. beautiful All right. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful beaches. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful people. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here, especially with Hayford. Like, make sure y'all get his subscribers up. He's such an amazing person. Such an amazing creator. And he just How his way of thinking is just is there. How many subscribers do you think I deserve? I think you deserve a million by now. Your content is yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Right, all right, all right. All right. Bon appetit, guys. Another brand new day in the Gambia. I'm heading for an interview, and uh, you see, I got all my equipment. One thing I noticed about the Gambia is they are constructing roads everywhere, which is a good thing. Meaning very soon, all the road will be paved, and uh, also there's Western Union at every corner. That's surprising. I came to Pocoloco Beach. I'm here to interview someone. But in the meantime, I'm eating chicken yasa. And uh, I must say, it's really nice. The stew, I didn't expect how to, um, I didn't know how to taste. What, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I expected it to taste like, but it's pretty impressive. So check this out. I'll show you the beach later. You can see it right here. It's pretty blue. I'll show you later this bike here in the Gambia and it's beautiful it's painted in red gold green just like the Ghana flag just that this Ghana flag has black in it there's no black and it's owned by an artist here in the Gambia and then he is wearing a shirt and his whole outfit is just red gold green too I think if I see him I'll show you guys it's pretty interesting and I'm at Poco Loco this is a nice place you should check out when you're in Gambia Still here in the Gambia. It's beautiful, still at Tamala. This is a really beautiful resort. Chilled, calm. Amazing. This is Tamala, it's very beautiful. Anytime you're in the Gambia, make sure you check it out. It's beautiful out here. Gambia is just way better. Beautiful, clean, at least clean, compared to what we have in Ghana. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Gambia is a very interesting place. As you guys can see, it's just interesting, man. It's pretty from all angles, from the drone view, from the down view. There's so many foreigners here. It's just it's a place for you to come, man. Just come and check it out. Come and experience it. And uh, you will not regret it, you know. You will not regret it. And just finished an interview today with a couple who moved from Jamaica. And uh, I'm like, why not? Let me just come to the beach and just chill. And, uh, you know, relax. From the south? Hey. I'm from Ghana. Ghana? Oh, yeah. nice people. Yeah. Accra. Accra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghanaians, we have one blood. Yeah. Family, yeah. Gambia. Yeah. I'm born and born in Gambia. You have a message for the people watching? Yeah. Yeah, watching from uh, Ghana, Accra, US, America. Anywhere. America. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. It's a good brother, you know? <laughs> nice to be in Gambia, you know? Yeah. Bless. Slashia. Bless. Slashia. Bless. Peace. Peace and love. <laughs> Smiling coast in Gambia, you know? I like, Bless. I like your skin color. Yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not a big deal, you know why? Yeah, yeah, they're all one. You know, yeah, Ghanaians, yeah. they build schools yeah. and they are teaching in Gambia here. Really? Yeah, they teach me. I heard. Ghanaian. I, I heard there's a Ghanaian, um, a Ghana village here. Yeah, hey! Wait, is it far from here? No, 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 no. Maybe tomorrow I can take you. Yeah? If I'll you take your number, yeah. No, I don't oh. have a phone right now. Oh, okay. Ghana town. You see, yeah. you can walk by the beach. Uh, really? By the beach. Just by here. How by many minutes beach? walk? 
Okay, here from Ghana, yeah. maybe just like, you know, 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Okay. Go, but you like to walk, you like yeah, to, and yeah. you see difference. Okay. And they, they get a boat. Yeah. They really? work hard, people. Really? I'll take me there. They work their sweat, I'm, you know. I'm going to go with him tomorrow. Yeah, maybe, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I'm busy. Yeah. I'm going to C4. Yeah. But when I come C4. back from C4, yeah. I'll come and meet you and then we'll go together. Inshallah. Yeah. You'll see your family. I to, yeah, I want to see them and we can eat some food together. You will see them? Yeah. Look at the fish. They speak to you and everything. Yeah, every day. I don't know me. I, my yeah. friend there is Mustafa. Okay. Mustafa. I'll ask for him when I'll go together. We go together. Yeah. Look, by the beach. By the beach, yeah. Don't wow. worry. So when they're coming back, we work together. Yeah, sure. Yes, man. I'm you a businessman in Gambia here, man. Yeah. I'm doing a business. So, you, what do you do? Tell the people. Okay, I'm just doing tour guides. Yeah. People went from Ghana, Europe, America. Yeah. I take them by locals. Yeah. Show them the way. Yeah. And show them, you know, the natural things yeah. and, you know, uh, the cultural things. Yeah. I, okay. You know what I mean? That's so if, my some, if someone is watching and they want to come to Gambia, you can, yeah. they should call you or something? Yeah, you can call me. Yeah. You can get my number. But right now, I don't have a phone. My phone yeah. is, 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 is there. But you have a number. So later, when you get a yeah. phone, you can call you. My friend number. I'll yeah. give you my friend number. Anytime okay. you want to come to Gambia, you contact me. Yeah. You get me. Mm. Yes, man. My name is Ismail. But they call me Jack. Mm. Nice to be nice. That's yeah. Gambia. Okay. All right. Money cannot make I, you fly, man. I ask, I ask him. Money cannot make you fly. Yeah. So you, you, I asked, do you make money? And then what did you say? The money I make is yeah. go to heart and mouth. Yeah. Hand and mouth. Yeah. So without, I, feed, I feed my family. Yeah. Without money? I'm happy. Yeah. Without so no happy. money, I'm happy, yeah. Because now, I know one day I can reach. Yeah. Yes, man. Now, I believe God. I believe Allah, you know. Who knows? Yeah. Today I'm poor, tomorrow I reach. Now I, I know why easy. I know why they are calling it the smiling coast of Africa, the Gambia. Gambia, because, we, because of why we poor and simple. Even this, the, the museum say you better poor and simple. Yeah, man. So rich, rich cannot make you happy. If yeah. you get money, you no, know, you don't happy. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah. You poor, you don't. You poor, you don't rich. You poor, you happy. That's the best. So I like that man, you know. Facts. With my brother, you know. Facts. So no fake, you know. Facts. Money cannot build us here. You know what build us? Humanity. Humanity. You can yeah. make money anyhow. Yeah. You know, one day money will come. Yeah, inshallah. Allah is there, inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, sir. Bless. Bro. Bless, bro. I no like fake, that. man. I like that. No fake, man, bro. I like that. Yeah, man. Je suis Ivoirien. Quitté à Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah, est-ce que ça va là-bas? Today I'm interviewing the Black Acres of the Gambia. If you know them, you know. I'm excited. I'm here with uh, Kaba. Uh, he's a very good driver here in the Gambia. If you come in, make sure to reach out to him. He's the spot, man. He takes you everywhere. Cheap, no cheating, nothing. And uh, I'm ready, man. I'm excited for today. So this is the road trip. Hope you guys enjoy. Really here? Yeah. Senegal is just here? Yeah. 
Yes, my guys, just here, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes man. Yes, 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 this is this is Rasta Man here. I like this. You probably heard of his YouTube channel, Rasta Man. Oh, he has a YouTube channel too. <laughs> <laughs> he let it go. So, he let it go. What is, what is that one there? Pineapple. It's a pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. Miss Cynthia, Miss Sweet Juicy Mama had <laughs> the lady. Someone told us that we needed to cut it around there. Okay. But I think they cut too much. Mm. But they are pineapples and they're growing. These are, I think these are the younger ones and mm -hmm. these, the bigger ones are more, almost what, two years, two mm -hmm. and a half years now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a, we have peppers growing here, jalapeno peppers. We got scared them off. We got sweet playing. potatoes growing here as well. Right, we've the been orange kind. harvesting them. I know, I've been, I mean, they that's why I was scared. scared. Right They're drinking that water. Yeah. It's like they just come out of nowhere. Well, we have strawberries coming along. Mm. Which one is a strawberry? Yeah. There. I, that's what I'm thinking, though. That's what I'm thinking. Even that comes from the manure, this so we have the watermelon? watermelon. Yes. Okay. And we ate the strawberries are in there, oh, okay. but this was supposed to be just strawberries, but everything yeah. just keeps growing. That's yeah. how good Africa is. That, is. is that cabbage or what? What's no, that? these are collard greens. Collard greens. You okay. got collard greens, kale. And we have uh, curly cows. We had we had some um, mustard greens, but they're not here anymore. They're all gone. Mm -hmm. A little few is still out there. Mm -hmm. Then we have Mr. The other cows over here with Mr. Mm -hmm. JD uh, uh, Raptor. He's picking some to mm -hmm. take home. So mm -hmm. we well, come every now and then to get some. Uh, well, and that's tomatoes. No, the, these are Scotch peppers. We don't harvest so much there now. Just mm -hmm. coming back now. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are over there okay. and back behind us. Okay, well. These are well spot pepper. We just harvest these here. Should Scott's have a little more pepper. growing, but they're here. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh yes, more like I said, tomatoes there, more peppers, more bell peppers here. Again the watermelons are coming mm -hmm. here. But that's coming from the manure. So starts, we're getting it. ready to get ready for um, rainy season now. So we'll be planting more. We have a nursery up front. I see. A lot of other little buckets. We have a the chicken. Well, we was gonna have a chicken house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now it's more of just where my other dogs mm -hmm. that we brought here. They're aggressive. They're here. We have Those are banana bananas. Plantain. Both. Okay. They're plantain. over there. Plantains. We got cassavas growing on the other side over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Then we, you know, we have the house down here. Mm -hmm. The boxes here are uh, compost boxes where, mm -hmm. you know, we, we use the scraps and mm -hmm. put in there to create compost for the gardening. I like this. This place is beautiful and it's a, a short let apartment there is pool it's beautiful when you are coming to Gambia and you want an apartment where you can cook your own food have a nice place to sit out your kunda your yokunda 
the Yokunda apartment, guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Check it out. The pool is beautiful, man. It's clean, and the apartment is beautiful. I'll show I'll show you inside later. The apartment, and he's the best driver ever. He will take you around anytime you come here. They comes with a driver. If you're going somewhere, all you need to do is buy fuel, and then he'll take you around. You have guests. There's sitting area. You can relax right here. You know, sit here, chillax. It's a beautiful place, guys. I'll show you inside later. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I mean, he, he's a hardworking guy, though. But... Thank you. 